Why? And the I go and I say, I don't got time for the hate. I need more time in my day. I put an ice on my bay. Yeah, you riding on me. I get my drip up overseas. Niggas are hating on me. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Pieces and blessings upon all my keys and all my sisters out there. Welcome to Split Decision. I'm your host, Ahi. To my left is no other than Professor Nims, the pundit with the PhD in pugilism. Huh? Talk to him. Nice. Don't talk to him twice because that's a real life professor for the ones that don't know. Come get educated. So for all the casual fans out there, welcome to the IQ University where we offer the book of the truth. So since people love to judge a book by its cover, we're going to paint a perfect picture for y'all. So if y'all do take the time out of y'all day to read the book, Hopefully, y'all will graduate from the Aki University. We got real life professors. Classes with P- in session right now. Yeah, with PhD degrees teaching at the Aki University. So it's free to attend. All you got to do is subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute, if you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't, and listen to these casual fans. So for all the casual fans out there, Welcome to the IQ University. Hopefully, y'all will graduate soon enough. We believe in everybody, so everybody is welcome here. To all my Aki, salute. Hashtag Aki, the boxing brotherhood. And to the new media members, to the new media partners, and to everyone that's part of the new media movement, shout out to y'all. It's a pleasure to have y'all here. We're going to represent, we're going to show in, and we're going to show out. We're talking about being the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, right? So Morales is how many fighters that he fought during his career. Junior Jones. Mm -hmm. Daniel. I can't even pronounce his name. Zaragoz. Yeah, Marcos yeah. Antonio Barrera. Three times a legendary fighter. Wayne McCullough. Yeah. Kevin Kelly. Mm. Gutty. Two times. And Chin Chin. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but you got you got my point. Yeah. Jesus Chavez. Manny Pacquiao. Jesus. Three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zahir. David Diaz. Joe Alfredo. He actually lost to his Zahir, right? Yeah, but I'm saying how many... Fighters yeah, yeah, he fought, fighters. Danny yeah, Garcia. Yeah. He fought Danny Garcia. Yeah, he, he got did. tested positive for computer role, but Canelo Alvarez got tested positive for computer role in his prom. Yeah. Morales did it toward the end of his career. He also when also fought he, Marcus Maidana. Marcus Maidana, Pablo Casino, Willie. I mean, it's so many fighters on this list. Like, damn, it's, it's just so many fighters. Let me he tell beat, you. He out he outboxed Manny Pacquiao when, when Manny Pacquiao was pound for pound, either number. You know, two or three. I wouldn't say one because Floyd was still around, but yeah, he Eddie, got a, he Eddie, got outboxed by. That's what I'm saying. Eddie Crawford, Pauly Ayala. So I'm saying all these fighters, right? And and comparing them to the Canelo Alvarez fighters that he fought in their prime, right? I'm gonna just compare them real quick. This is the old fighters. This is not the prime fighters. This is the old fighters. Sugar Shane Mosley, 41. Kurt Baldemir, his left hook that you were talking about. He was 39 years old. Uh, Indal, 39 years old. Yeah, G- Gennady Golovkin, 35. Sergio Kovalev, 36. Uh, Ryan Rojardas, 35. Miguel Cotto, 30, 35. Floyd Mayweather, that ass whooping, 36. A, a, a masterpiece. I mean, he he took him to the, he got a PhD yeah. degree that night, but he didn't graduate though because he obviously lost big time. But this is he actually picked up some moves from Floyd. He, he moves at the waist now. This is yeah. the fighters that was over the hill. Chavez Jr. Kermit. Chavez Jr.? Kermit, that Canelo fought. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's how, what I'm saying. How, how was Chavez Jr. over the he hill? He fought him at a catch weight. Canelo, Chavez done got knocked Chavez out Jr. so many just, times. It's just whack anyway. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Con. Chavez has and, never uh, been knocked that's out. That's what I'm saying. What do you mean? He got knocked out. Chavez Jr. got knocked out by Fortuna at 175. And, and, and K- yeah, K- right. Kermit, yeah. Amir Khan, James Kirkland... They're coming off all bad performances. Matthew Hatton, that's Ricky Hatton, brother, that was fighting at 147. He fought at 154 for the 154 pound belt. Laura. Alfredo Angula, Angulo. So I'm saying all these fighters, that that's how many fighters he fought. And this is the article. I'm not, I'm not making this up. I'm reading out off an article that is just pointing out the facts that Canelo ain't fighting fighters in their prom. Like, there's only three fighters he fought in their prom. Lara, Trout, Trout and D- Daniel Jacobs. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying. That's the problem that Canelo has. That's why Morales is looking. Hold on. Y'all trying to tell me this dude, the greatest of all time, Mexican greatest fighter of all time. I've never. But that's what they're saying. That's what they're hyping him out to be. That's the narrative that's out. So that's what I'm saying. If the narrative is that and they saying we hating, Morales, I just called you out all these greatest fighters he he fought. And he looking at Canelo 
I had cherry picking maneuver around the best competition. He like, no, nah, you need to fight Charlo. You need to fight Andre. You need to fight better BF Benavidez because I fought the best competition out there. You know who else fought the best competition out there? His promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, they got beef right now because Oscar probably looking at him like, you know who I fought in my prime? Mm -hmm. I fought uh, Penel Whitaker. I fought Floyd. I, I fought Arcorte. I fought um, Sugar Shane Mosley. At 147, the unification. Sugar Shane Mosley? No, 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 no. Well, not unification, but... The, 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 I'm talking about when they were both undefeated, when he fought... Oh, Felix Trinidad. Free, yeah, Trinidad. Like, stop playing with him. He still fought the best. He, like, it's Canelo who got a guarantee purse and is not willing to step in the ring with a pe with the best. Period. Well, that's, that is the zone's fault. That is Canelo's fault. Because even before that, he turned down the Jamel Charlo fight and, le and Jamel Charlo left Golden Boy because they didn't fulfill his contract. He didn't fight Andre and Charlo and Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo at 154. He ain't fighting them at 160. Is he? Ain't, he only considered in Sandras when he avoided him in the past and claimed he don't. He not interested in him. Right, he only wanted to fight we him do, now. We do, but we, we have we ha yeah, we have to be honest though. So when he fought Floyd Mayweather, right? Who didn't want to fight Floyd though? First of all, but exactly, he was 23 years old. He was green as hell. Who? How is he green? Floyd Mayweather. He looked at his best when he beat a Corrales at 24. You remember how Canelo looked against Angulo right yeah, after but, that? But he didn't fight a master. When the know, last time he <laughs> called? <laughs> when, name made. me the last master boxer he fought. The last master was um, Lara. And what happened in that fight? It was a close decision. Who you gave it he to? Was there. I had Lara. I had Lara winning. That's what I'm saying. If they claim he got such better since the Floyd they would have lost. He has. Easy. Where his, Easy. Why he don't fight the Andre of the world, the Charles of the world, and prove it. Why he has to maneuver and be so strategic. It's for a reason. He ain't trying to see these brothers. Like I told you last show, Floyd Mayweather beat all his peoples on this Mexican is, Independent but, Day, but he won't fight these brothers on Mexican Independent Day for a payback. Like, yeah, hey, but, you know what? But, but you're comparing him against all-time greats. Right? Uh, Oscar De La Hoya. I, what was that? Oscar De La Hoya, Mayweather, Morales, all-time. But, like, if you compare him against his contemporaries, his resume... Like pause, kills pause, all of that. Pause. All of I'm that. I'm gonna get to that, right? Okay. I'm okay. gonna get to that. First of all, I'm comparing him to the fighters that they claiming that he surpassed the Morales, the Barreras, that I disagree with, the Chavez Senior. I don't think he's better than they yeah. The I think Manny Pacquiao win for Marquez is better than any Canelo win. For, period. So what I'm saying is Canelo is maneuvering, not fighting the best, and they claiming he the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, that's which I mean. is a false statement, first of all. And that's but you talking about comparing we, we him to the fighters today? We have not put that today. statement out here. That's that, that's a whole different yeah, narrative saying, that, that we do not subscribe to on split decision. But that's what they claiming he is. The, the, that's the narrative out there, right? So I'm saying this. You saying comparing to the fighters today? Yeah, his contemporary. It's because he has better options. He fought on yeah. Mayweather undercard. He getting treated as this, um, he being spoiled in a way. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, was. he has better opportunities. If he wants to fight Charlo, he will make that fight happen, right? He could make mm -hmm. that fight happen. If he want to fight Andre, Tomorrow. if he want to fight Andre, he can make that fight happen, right? Tomorrow. If he want to fight Better Be If, any fighter you name, he can make it happen. Why? Because he the A-side. He has that leverage, right? Mm -hmm. These fighters that you're talking about, they got to get it out the mud. They didn't get no silver spoon. So he could, mm -hmm. like Charlo, he could call out Gennady Golovkin all he want. He could be his mandatory for two years all he want. He still can't get the fight. What's um, Charlo's best win? J-Rock J William. But that's not the okay. point. That's not the point. My point is this. He could fight. And that, and that, that could, wasn't at middleweight. But I'm just saying, at middleweight, the best don't want to fight him. The Canelo except, of the world. Except for Andre. Canelo requested the French Fries title to avoid <laughs> that fight. So my my thing is this: you saying he has better resume than Easy. these fighters because Easy. he he duh he has to because his med, his resume is made up. Why why would he fight the the Charlos of the world like his critiques are saying fighters not me Criti like Ch Morales the Chavez of the world legendary fighters mm -hmm. why would he prove them right wrong. My, my point is this. The reason he has a better resume, because he has better options. Charlo, he won to hop in the ring with Canelo, Gennady Golovkin, and, and yeah, Dan, Danny Jacobs. That's Jacob. a cash cow. 
And Danny Jacob. Danny Jacob is not a cash cow. Gennady what? Golovkin is no, not no. a cash cow today. I said Canelo is the cash cow. Of course That's you want to hop in the ring with him. Well, not just like when Canelo wanted to fight Floyd, even though it, it was probably too early because he was he, the cash Canelo cow. Is, he's ducking, period. Canelo ducking, Charlo and Andre ain't ducking, but they just can't get the big fights because they that talented and that dominated. It's that Regan Dia effect. These champions like Ch Cruz... And and Frampton successfully froze these fighters out. So it's like the murderers first, first broke all, all like, over Ricky again. Dial dominated a Donaire. After when, that, when, he couldn't get no fight. When Donaire was one of the, so we can state that like that is a great win. You you have been le legitimized, and then even to the point where he shouldn't have fought Lomachenko, who was two weight division up above. But we actually wanted to see that fight because we knew that Regan Dial was legit. Just like we want to see Charlo. And Andre fight Canelo. But guess what? He don't want what happened to Donaire to happen to him. That's why he have the best resume, like you said, because he avoiding these fights. If he fight these guys, he probably next... If, if his next fight is Charlo, Andre, and Benavidez, his, you, he, 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 he probably be 0-3 his next three those, fights. That's what I'm saying. What so I'm saying is just you can like, have the best resume least, when you avoid it and could pick any fight you want. Meanwhile, Charlo got to fight. Any, every fighter, they, they tell him to do to, to really? fight, and he still can't land the Canelo or Gennady Golovkin fight. You know he fighting Dennis Hogan. He got to stay active because these he, fighters he, are he freezing him fought, out. He could have fought Andre. No, he couldn't. Because the zone is not willing to, 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 to send Andre to, to, to Showtime. No, he could have came over there and said, you know what? I'm going to do a three-fight deal with y'all. I'm going to beat Andre. To who? To, hold on, hold on, hold on. With, 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 Pause. With this zone. Who you got with, with this zone. Why would so, he do that? Why would he do that? Because I'm going to beat Andre. I'm going to beat Canelo. And then I'm going to beat Triple G. And then I'm going to be a superstar. Pause. Pause. He Why already you, said he's pausing? willing... Because he already, that's a strike. That's another strike. What, right what, what are you talking about? Them, because them, them, those are facts. Like, inform, that's, you, like, that's a crazy, like. You got you to inform. That's, that's a crazy three fight deal. Okay. Are you the zone? Are you going to make it happen? Because if you do, I promise you, he signed that contract tomorrow to get, go get them straps. But let me tell you this Andre just signed with the zone. How come Andre don't get the Canelo fight and Gennady Golovkin next? Then he called, he called out Gennady Golovkin to his face. And Gennady Golovkin finna fight and nobody next. Paul, now, Triple G needs finish, to make that fight. Let me finish, let me finish my point. Triple G needs to make that you, fight. You, you, if you got more confidence than them, oh, cool, but you ain't finna fight for Gennady Golovkin and Canelo. I'm telling you, you saying, Charlo, why he don't do this, right? Well, Andre is with the zone and he not getting the Andre fight. I mean, he not getting the Gennady Golovkin fight and he's not getting the Canelo fight. So why will Charlo go to, to the zone and sign a contract where he's, where they're not gonna guarantee him the Canelo fight, or or the Andre fight, or or the uh, not the Andre fight, the the, the Canelo fight, or the, the Gennady G Golovkin fight. The, yeah. And to your point, you stated that the zone they messed up they when they signed Canelo with, with, because with Canelo. they can't force him to sign but, to fight nobody because because they, they they did not have get themselves leverage to do that. And they, but you they want did. Charlo, but you want they Charlo, you they want the Lions up. only to sign with the zone when they can't even. When they can't even guarantee him a fight with Canelo or Gennady Golovkin, because so why would he you, sign? Because you could fight an Andre and not a Dennis Hogan. Why will he sign with the Zone when they can't even guarantee him these fights? That's what they I'm can, saying. They can guarantee him a, 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 a triple G. Well, no, they ain't. Because Gennady Golovkin already he ain't, he turned down the opportunity to fight Andre for the WBC title when they mandated him. That's what I'm saying. So. Why would he go and sign with the zone when they can't even guarantee him the, 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 the fights? Just like with Wilder. So you don't get, Hold on, pause, like, pause. Just like with Deontay Wilder, when he was trying to when, when he was trying to fight AJ, the zone gave him a contract for four fight deal for $120 million. But they didn't guarantee the AJ fight. Or you know what I'm saying? So like what's the purpose of him signing with him? And, and AJ you, ended you, up you losing. Be on there. Pause, pause with it, all, all these pause and play buttons. But no, what, I'm, what, what, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is that like he will he will up his profile and that he he will put himself in a better position to get those his, fights the right best, now. He does not have a quality win at middleweight. His the his best chance is to stay active, be his own boss, and whenever our opportunity right. presents itself, take it. His best bet is, is to follow the game plan that's working. The PBC is trying to That's establish this him. dominance because he still could get the Davirachenko fight. 
He's still the I hate me. That's not what he wants. Man. But at the end of the day, it's still a good fight. I'm saying it's not his, fi- his fault that these fighters are avoiding him. You keep trying to make excuses for Canelo and Gennady Golovkin. That's too dusty. Like I said, these fighters ain't trying to fight. You I didn't saying, say nothing about Triple G. No, but I'm saying you said that, okay, Can- Canelo Alvarez, he has a better resume. Of course he do because he <laughs> can make any fight he want. If, if Charlo is in the same shoe... As Canelo, he will have a better resume because he will hop in the ring with everybody. I can see his demeanor. He want to be the best, just like Errol Spencer, Terrence Crawford. But because they cut from the same cloth as these guys, Canelo Alvarez has to get a witness protection belt from the WBC, becoming the French Fries title, requesting it. He got stripped for the IBF title because he didn't want to fight his mandatories. How did he become the French Fries tie champion because when he, he didn't he, even he, defend his he belt? He went and made history and he made a lot of money. You said, to, according to you, I already debunked a lot of the points you keep bringing no, up. No, you never debunked that. So point. I didn't debunk that he not making history. He making up history fighting a, a washed Kovalev, according to you. You said Kovalev was I so just, washed I didn't up. I said he was washed. Yes, you did. You can go he, back I to said, episode seven. I said he was long in the tooth and that he, he was, had, a foot he, out he the had door. one foot out the door. What's that or mean? Whatnot. What's that? Like, Wash is fighting somebody who, like, uh, uh, Baltimore or something like that. That Like, that's, that's a Wash fight. That's not even a fight. That's what, <laughs> what did Kovalev had knocked out his opponent, a young, strong buck. According to you, that only had 18 amateurs. He was green, a- but he, green. he still okay. knocked him out. With 18 professional fights that haven't stepped up. And talking about who Charlo fought, who Listen, Andre fought, no, no, who Yard fought, who have Yard fought at the he time before. Been, exactly. Been. And he only have 12 amateurs fights. Come on now. He and was, he almost knocked it's, out it's, Kovalev. It's, Listen. When, when, when people open up the annals of boxing history, they're going to say there's only been two fighters who went That's from That's French Fries champion. Who Lomachenko went, and Canelo. Who went from middleweight and won a uh, light heavyweight championship. It was Bernard Hopkins. And Canelo Alvarez. And That's Rose history. Jones. What do you mean? But but I respect what Bernard Hopkins did. He beat a, re- a legit champion. Ka- Kovalev was on his way out the door. He, he ain't interested in fighting Benavidez or Benavidez that called him out. He not interested in them. And he interested to fight Saunders as soon as he on the way out the door. That's what I'm saying. Your points that you bring up already debunked from the last no, show. Because no. according to you, Kovalev was washed up. And everybody know he washed up. He ain't fight the Kovalev version that for Andre Ward. Ko- Kovalev already been knocked out twice, already been exposed to the body, and he's already on the way out the door, got one foot out the door. Canelo kicked his other foot out the door. Like I said, fight a prime fighter. And you're talking about he got better at resumes than these other fighters. I mean, I mean because, that's just facts. That's just facts, Because though. he's in a better shoe. Errol Spence, Errol Spence, for example, he didn't he didn't fight on nobody undercar like Floyd Mayweather to become a star in the game. And he had to get it out the mud. He was being avoided like Floyd. And now no, no, he's like the that. face he, of sport. He, 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 was, he, he Man, came Porter, from the Olympics. Porter, he had Danny some... Garcia, Keith Thurman. All these guys didn't want to see him on the way up. And he now had, when he, he, did, he, he, had, he had a lot of co-signers. Listen, when right? tables turn, now they want to fight him. Back in the day, they didn't want to fight him. Let's you're keep right, it you're real. Right, you're right. So all I'm saying is Errol Spence had to get out the mud. Andre had to get out the mud. They avoided. They trying to just stay busy because to make noise because they try these fighters on the hope list trying to freeze them out. So these fighters on the coincidental list every time they mandatories they don't get to feed, to fight these fighters on the hope list. They get French fries title and avoid to maneuver. And like I said, if these fighters are in the same shoe as these fighters on the hope list, if the fighters on the coincident, coincidental list mm-hmm. are in the same shoe as these fighters on the hope list. They will surpass them. They will be so far out in their career right now. Well, I mean, but because part they, of it, they have to prove it in the ring. So you, you, you're saying that you don't think Andre has been mismanaged? Yeah. Exactly. So I'm saying, but because these fighters won't fight him, he's a, a risk. And the what? Canelos of the world, they don't want to fight him. The Gennady Golovkins of the world, perfect example. They don't want to fight him, and they fight on the same network. Charlo don't fight on the same network. Canelo... Andre, Gennady Golovkin, all these guys fight on the same network. You know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. why they ain't, they they know better. If you know better, do better. Okay. And if oh, they want to be, you, that's you, all I'm you, saying. You mad passionate about you? If you see Canelo in person, I I I think you might try to fight him. Man, I ain't Marquez. I ain't gonna tell him you the greatest <laughs> Hispanic like, fighter of all I'm time. Not, I, I, I'm gonna keep would, it real. I would, I would never say I'm that. I'm gonna ask but. him the million dollar question. 
What's that? When are you going to fight Charlo and Andre? I want to see that. Fight. We want to see you in a ring against fights. prime fighters. That's all. He opened himself for criticism. I'm not critiquing him. I'm not the only one. New media critiquing him. Dante, DBN, Ego, the most reliable boxing outlet in, in, the, YouTube, in the YouTube industry. Mm -hmm. You're talking about fighters from, it is. from great legends, from the Morales, Barreras, to Marquez, to Chavez Sr. These fighters are critiquing him. Because why? He opened himself for criticism. Because he only had three fighters that he fought on his, uh, in their prime for the past 15 years. It it's 10, a lot of narratives out 15 there. I, years. I, I just played Marquez saying that maybe there was something that was lost in translation. Man, he, he, me no speak no English. That's what I think it is. Now, the last topic of the day. Thank y'all for tuning in to Split Decision, episode 9. You know, obviously... Two months in, baby. Two months in, but, you know, these casual fans, old media hating because, you know, obviously they're not bringing up any points to counter what we're saying. They ain't coming to the IQ University to debate. They're just coming to talk shit because they can't graduate. So, great. Exactly. Read the book of the truth that's offered in the IQ University. Come with something that's substantive. Because we, we actually like that. There were actually some people who brought up some good points, and I acknowledge them. Oh, salute. Them. Salute to I, all I, I salute, And then a lot of, uh, uh, I'll, I'll come up next time with the fighter's name, but he was talking about the history of Charlo and Canelo, and I respect that. Like, those are the that arguments my point that then. I respect. Huh? No, it did. I, huh? man, I, I have to acknowledge that. I have respect to, I have to acknowledge that, day. but you know what I'm saying? You know, saying this thing <laughs> called ad hominems, whatnot. Listen, y'all can keep them to yourself. Come with something this. substantive. Uh, but, you know, uh, but tune in every week. Y'all know what time it is for all the people that's hating on my drip. Let it be known. You know, when I see y'all on the road, I didn't pass y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to no I key. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's I key stand for my brother. You know, it's a boxing brotherhood. So when I whoop you, it's because I love you. We can shake our hands afterwards. You know what I mean? So and we want all the smoke. Argument-wise, debating-wise, and guess what? Y'all going to get taken to the IQ University, and hopefully y'all will graduate soon enough. So it's free to attend the IQ University. For all the casual fan students, we welcome every student. We believe in every student. I believe y'all could graduate sooner then later, all y'all got to do is subscribe below to become a part of the Split Decision and the IQ University is free to attend, free 99. All you got to mm -hmm. do is subscribe. If you're trying to get smarter by the minute, if you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't listen to these casual fans. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post or go, or go live because y'all don't want to miss our content, period, especially from no Split Decision. Yo, and in 2020, we're going live. Oh, we, we going are, live. We already know what it is. We y'all know what time it 20, is. 2020, we going live. You know what I'm saying? Don't that sound? Don't that sound perfect? 2020. You know what I'm saying? I keep it a buck though. I don't keep it 20. You know what I mean? <laughs> if if we talking about debating stuff, they talking about is a unanimous decision every time, Professor. Then how oh, you feel about that? I don't, I don't that? see that. I don't see that. They ain't even not. saying a split decision no more. Uh, they saying these unanimous decisions. I be saying the ladies. I be saying the ladies. They be like, I appreciate the professor, and like y'all, y'all keep tuning in. I appreciate the love. Hey, you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> professor. You know, it's all good though. Oh, I ain't gonna front. The, the, he, the um, he, drip is on. Is um, is saucy today. I, 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 hey, my man, I my man, professor. Then he cleaner than a napkin. That's how clean he is. You know what I'm saying? So hey, don't get us dusty with y'all dusty asses excuses why y'all fighters keep ducking. Man, I ain't trying to hear that. Come out with a new excuse where I don't have to wipe out. The dust before I talk about it. So appreciate everybody for tuning in. I appreciate all my keys and all the people that support me. And to Professor Nam at the end of the day. Bop, 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 bop. And the high gonna say, I don't got time for the hate. I need more time in my day. I put an ice on my bay. Yeah. You riding on me. I get my drip overseas. Niggas are hating on me. Yeah.